Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of D2A Reacts here on the Dedicated to Art channel. I'm Nico Rigoli. Uh, the gentleman right next to me is Ryan, Ryan Permison. And, uh, dude, for this video, we have a very special double header, both related to the Marvel Studios Black Widow movie that everyone seems to think should have come out several years ago. But quite frankly, I don't care because I'm just happy to see this character and her and her lore finally get its just due here in a live action format yeah yeah definitely uh you know i'm unfortunately i'm in the camp that says this movie should have come out 10 years ago uh right after the avengers that would have been nice because when you hear the line you and i remember budapest very differently i would have liked to have seen that like two years later but unfortunately we had to wait really really long but you know what Som sometimes uh they say that good things come to those who wait and maybe this will be a good film maybe it'll be a bad mcu film we don't know the mcu has has had some hits and misses here and there even though uh some fans out there don't want to admit it they've had some bad films um so we'll see what happens with this one again scarlett johansson is back she's accompanied by a big name cast uh, along with her I uh, saw the first trailer, thought it was all right. This new one, we'll see how it goes. I'm not 100% convinced that, oh, I need to see this opening weekend kind of vibe. But then again, we'll see what happens with this trailer. Um, I really enjoyed the first trailer, uh, mostly because of the music. Uh, like, I, li I listened to the music of that trailer on loop for about 20 minutes straight, just because <laughs> I love the... Da -da 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 -da. Like it, it felt like it was building up to something, yeah. uh, something exciting, and so it got me excited for it. It, it, it kind of makes you feel like you're in a spy thriller, which is what this film is. Exactly, exactly. And um, we've got two new videos here. Uh, the first one is a, it's a special look, and the other one is a legacy featurette. Um, both of them dropped within the past, uh, within the past day or so. Um, so, uh, I'm excited to see what both of these videos will hold for us. Uh, new information, obviously, but also maybe a special behind the scenes look of like where Natasha Romanoff is at, at this point in her life, because this is a prequel set between Captain America, Civil War and Avengers Infinity War with, I'm assuming some current stuff saved for like a post credit scene. Mm -hmm. Most likely. Yes. So with that said, let's get to reacting. Natasha, my sister, after all this time, what brings you home? Florence Pugh, she's in everything lately. I'm on the run. I was trying to do something good. Mm. Any more than just a train killer. They're fooling uh. you. Oh, shoot. We are still both train killers. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Business. That white suit looks so damn cool. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, even Rachel Vice. Still fits. Red Guardian, baby. Family. Back together again. You got fat. Yeah, I mean, that's from the other trailer. <laughs> it's mainly <laughs> water weight. <laughs> I've heard that before. New enemies. Whoa. I'm done running from my past. Oop. Mm. Taskmaster! Oh, that's you. Taskmaster! <laughs> mm. ah. Who the hell is that guy? Ah. Whoa, that's... Jeez, that's... That's ominous. Okay, so before we get to the next video, do you know the lineage of Taskmaster? Uh, no clue because I'm still a novice comic book reader slash fan. So I'm still new to the whole comic book craze. So Taskmaster, he is a very unique character in that he has a, um, photo reflective memory. Like he can yeah. copy the motions, uh, and tactics of anyone he fights. And mm. so like, that's why he's, that's why he was literally mirroring Natasha in that final few seconds of the scene because he or she depending on who's behind that mask like we know marvel movies love to give us those little twists every now and yeah. then yeah yeah so uh, who knows who could be under that mask but yeah um so taskmaster he, he, this character is going to bring a lot of unique challenges to our heroes 
of uh, the movie that we're going to see here in a couple months. Yeah, definitely. So that was video number one here. We now have a second video. This is the Legacy Featurette. And here we go. Boom. Black Widow is multi-layered and you know motivated and determined and all of those things. And that hair awesome. from 2009. I would love to take this character in every different direction. I'm always picking up after you, boys. <laughs> the possibilities are really endless. Like her voice sounds so different now uh, uh, compared to Before back then. Her shield, I made mistakes, but I'm done running from my past. Mm. Very few actors can. Say that they've worked on a character for 10 years and then suddenly have this chance to delve deep into the inner workings of this person we have to go back to where it all started there's one movie people have been asking us to make for a very long time you're what damn right <laughs> i mean we've been asking for 10 years dude movie. oh this is so cool we're going to be able to create something that is a there's the music i like for the marvel universe i'm just excited to see the real black widow she's not a classic hero because mm. she has a dark past mm -hmm. brings you i mean i feel like every hero has a dark past nowadays but hers is really dark we've never ever seen before we have unfinished business uh. Ooh, shoot. things for sure it's going to be a hell of a reunion marvel studios black widow in hey. may 1st May okay. first. So in three different videos, we've seen uh, her jump out of that helicopter with the white suit on. And every time it still gets to me, like because <laughs> maybe it's just because it randomly comes out of nowhere as they cut to the next shot. But maybe it's also just because she looks so damn cool in that suit and she she's doing a shooting star press literally out of the helicopter and just <laughs> does that superhero pose landing that Deadpool joked about mm. uh, like. It, like, mm -hmm. She looks like a badass when she does that. And I feel like this movie is really going to highlight her badassery. Yeah, yeah. This, uh, th These two videos, you know, like I said, I wasn't completely sold on this movie uh, because it's ten to me it's 10 years too late in some, way in some way, shape, or form. But this trailer, the special look, even though the special look, we've heard those interviews before. Oh, this is bigger. It's on a grander scale. We get to tell this really intimate story. Like I've heard those so many times now. It's it's almost like a running joke in certain interviews and promos and cuts. But this new trailer, I liked it. It was to me it was certainly better than the first one. It gave us more of what kind of characters are going to be featured in this movie, what their motivations may or may not be, because as we all know, spies like to switch sides midway through a movie or maybe towards the end of the we don't know. Uh Taskmaster, no idea who you are. Some of these other characters, no idea who you are. But that's the beauty of movies. You get to be introduced to these characters you've never seen cinematically. They may be well known in the comic book world, but for those of us who are still new to that uh, piece of material, such as me, um, very much looking forward to seeing these new characters. And definitely, man, uh, some good music, uh, some good stuff talking about her past, how deep, how dark it gets. I hope they do that. I hope they don't just say it in interviews just to sell the movie. I hope you actually dive deep, like real deep into this character, why she is the way she is, where she come from, why is she like this way, why does she suddenly want to switch to this side and go play for this other side, like what, why? I want to know as much as I can about this character and I hope we get it in this two hour plus running time. Do I like some of the new suits? Yeah, sure, but only if it fits the story. Don't do it just to make her look good, do it because it fits within the story. So I'm very much looking forward to seeing this comes out in May, that's early summertime, early summer blockbuster season as Marvel likes to dominate that part of the year so mcu you got a tall order ahead of you because we asked for this a decade ago and you waited this long to do it i hope the wait is going to be worth it come may 1st you see you you say they waited too long to make this movie but to a certain on extent the, yes depending on the character you focus on there's an argument to be made that it's the right time like maybe it's maybe it's too late for the character of natasha romanoff but for the character of Yelena Belova, the character played by Florence Pugh, this mm. could be the perfect time for it because, you know, we're just coming off Endgame now uh, and uh, Far From Home. Mm -hmm. So maybe maybe it's time to start setting up the new adventures, uh, the, uh, uh, the new Avengers, I mean to say. And, you know, there was we don't know where the Hawkeye series is going. Uh, we don't know what's going to happen with Kate Bishop, but Yelena Belova. 
I feel like she's one of the perfect characters to start setting up the new Avengers, uh, uh, the younger generation. Uh, and then you've got uh, WandaVision, which is I saw audition videos for um, her comic book sons, uh, Scarlet Witch's comic book sons of um, uh, Wiccan and Hulkling. No, 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 not Hulkling. Um, speed, <laughs> speed. Hulkling it falls in love with one of those two characters. Um, but um, yeah, so like we're, we're setting up the younger generation of these heroes. And I feel like uh, that's why Florence Pugh is here. She's there and it's the perfect time for her character to be introduced. So uh, we're in a good spot. We're in a good spot. Plus, we get a few more questions about the past. Like where does Red Guardian and Iron Maiden fit into all of this? Because those are the characters played by Rachel Weiss and David Arbor. Yeah, and I'm curious to see how much of a role and how uh, much screen time they're going to get. And also, one of the lines in this trailer, and maybe I heard it wrong, there's a new army of widows out there. So how many black widows are there? If there are, how many of them are, are good and how many of them are really bad that need to be killed off? So that really raises a big question. Like, is this is this going to fall into more widows out there at the end of this movie? Is there going to be a whole new army for maybe not the older Avengers, but some of the newer characters introduced in the Avengers films to take on we don't know that's one of the other intriguing things there's a new army of widows out there what does that mean i'm curious i want to know more well there was an old army of widows like if anyone who watched the uh, agent carter series on abc they'll know that yes i watched I, that too. i did great show but too underrated they'll remember the character of Dottie. she was one of the black widows mm -hmm. of of the, the post-world war ii era um yes. and and so like it, i hadn't thought of that like maybe they're setting up the next army of big bads for the next Avengers, the new Avengers to fight somewhere down the road. And that makes me excited. Or maybe they're just going to stop it right here. And that's going to explain <laughs> why we haven't seen them in infinity war or end game, because like they, they were already stopped within that time frame between civil war and then, but we're talking a lot. Uh, there's a lot to speculate. I just know this is coming out five days before my birthday. Aww. And I'm very excited for that. So Happy birthday to me. <laughs> Early present. Yay, yay. But Ryan, where can the good people of the internet find you? Oh, by the way, thank you guys for watching. Click the um uh please click the like button, share, subscribe, and comment below. What did you think of these two uh trailers or the legacy feature it and the first look? Uh, because that's what they actually are. Um, but what did you guys think? Tell us below, comment below. Ryan, now where can the good people be in that find you? <laughs> uh, yes, good, sir. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at RyanRPM5. Make sure you follow me on Letterbox at letterbox.com slash RyanTheMovieBuff. You can see all of my film lists, all the films I've seen or are ready to watch, all my hot takes. Believe me, there's plenty for you to chew on. Uh, check out my podcast. It's called The Nerdcast, where I talk about movies past and present. I do reviews of them and share my thoughts and uh, opinions with you on that. Download it on the Anchor Podcasting app or uh, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts. Wherever you download your podcast, you can find it there. And uh, you can also catch me here on the Dedicated to Art channel doing more uh, trailer reaction reviews such as this, as well as a few other things we got in the pipeline. And also, uh, you can find me in the fan leagues competing, trying to maybe win a belt someday, somehow in the next century. I don't know. But uh, you can find me there. And thanks for joining us, guys. The Hunter will make a comeback in 2020. But uh, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube at Nico Suave Regoli or just Nico Suave with four random meaningless numbers at the end on Discord. Uh, Combat Wrestling Trivia on Facebook, Combat Wrestling Network on YouTube. The poorly made Twitter handle is at Combat Wrestling, the number two. There is no letter G. Don't ask how that happened. Uh, I am the TMG Entertainment, the Choke Slam Wrestling Debate Champion of the World. And of course, you can also find me right here on Dedicated to Art. Uh, that's the name of the Facebook page, the Facebook group, the YouTube channel, uh, Twitter and Instagram at D2A channel. Uh, or if you need to contact us at uh, DTOA channel at gmail.com. Uh, check out our podcasts wherever podcasts are available. We have a lot of them. I won't go into detail as to what they all are because that usually takes up too much time. But I will say this. Trivia for Thon 2, hashtag trivia, the number four, T-H-O-N, the number two. Click the link in the description below of this video uh, where you can donate to the Four Diamonds Pediatric Cancer Research Fund as part of my and Penn State New Kensington's Thon fundraising efforts. We're working to find a cure for pediatric cancer as well as help the families deal with the costs of the treatments over at Penn State Hershey Children's Hospital. Thank you all for watching. I'm Nico. That's Ryan. This has been our Black Widow reaction, and we'll see you soon. Take care.